And this, uh, we will study particle in spherical potential well. The particle is inside the sphere and cannot jump outside of the sphere because I have potential, a spherical potential well, which is given by Vr equal minus V0 when R is smaller than A and 0 when R is bigger or equal A, whereas V0 is something positive. So minus V0 is negative. So now all what we need to solve this uh, problem is to know the Schrodinger equation of the, uh, the radial Schrodinger equation. Why? Because this problem has spherical symmetry. I mean, spherical symmetry, there is no dependence on theta and phi. There is just dependence on R. So writing the radial Schrodinger equation and solving it will be uh, uh, will give us all the information we need. Writing the uh, write the Schrodinger equation, the radius Schrodinger equation is given in general by minus h bar over 2m d square or u r over d r square plus the v effective, uh, uh, which is equal to v r plus h bar over 2m l multiplied by l plus 1 over r square u r equal e u r. So now, uh, uh, according to the value of v r. I have I can write it this equation by two way. The first way I just substitute v r by minus v zero, and in the second way I substitute v r by 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 zero. If r is bigger than a, then I have uh, this equation. Determine the value of v zero uh, for which they are bound state. Of course, I have particle which is confined inside a, a, a specific volume volume. And this volume is is very uh, small. Uh, I mean, in the order of the of the of the uh, uh, the dimension of the of this particle, and so the the energy of this particle will be given in in, uh, in, in discrete value. There is just discrete value, possible discrete value of the energy of this particle, and this is one of the basic principles of in quantum mechanics. And in this case, is where is L equal zero? The radius equation will be written as a following minus h bar over 2m d square over dr square ur minus v0 ur equal e ur and I can move the, uh, uh, the term, the two terms which uh, contain ur and put it uh, in the same side and this is the case where r is smaller than a and uh, uh, the other cases the other case, where is, uh, R is bigger or equal to than A, the radius Schrodinger equation will be written as minus h bar over 2m d square u r over dr square, which is equal to e u r. I just put L equal 0. And there is no problem here, as we mentioned, because I have spherical symmetry. There is no dependence on the time frame. Now I need to decide the value, the value, the sign of the constant. Of this equation, so d d square u r over d r square plus two m h bar over h bar multiplied by v zero plus e u r equal zero. This is the case where r is smaller than a. The sign of the constant v zero plus e is falsely positive. Why? Because I have minus v zero is negative, v zero is positive, and v and e is between v zero and zero. I mean E is negative and between 0 and minus V0. So when I add V0 plus E, I will get positive falsely. So I can call this uh, constant is Q1 square. In the other cases, in the other case where D, D square you are over dr square plus 2me over h bar square, you are equal 0. This is the case where R is bigger or equal than A. I have E negative, so 2ME over h bar square is negative, and I can make a trick. I just take the amplitude value, the absolute value of E, and put the sign outside, so I can get minus Q2 square. The why I, I take time in, 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 in uh, talking about the constant because deciding the sign of the constant in such differential equation is very critical uh, to decide how I can solve it. Usually in more general cases, I ha if I have a linear uh, differential equation of the second order, uh, in, 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 in this way, I can, there is a general way to write the, what's so called uh, uh, the associated polynomial equation. 
where I, I substituted every uh, derivative with the, uh, with the x to the power, for example, the same order of the derivative. The second order, for example, the second order the derivative, I put it x squared and so on. And find the root and deciding on the, the nature of the root, whether they are real or, uh, or complex, positive or negative, I can decide uh, the way how to solve it. In, in general way, if I have x, the second derivative of x plus gamma x equals 0, or x, the second derivative of x minus gamma x equals 0, where is gamma is real and positive, then the solution, and this is the case where, uh, where we are talking about, the solution, if the root are pure convex, the solution will be linear combination of sine and cosine. Where is the solution uh, uh, is uh, pure negative, a pure complex and uh, conjugate of each other. So I have Q1R, A, the solution will be given as UR equal A sine Q1R plus P cosine Q1R and where A and B are constant. The second case where I have the second derivative minus X minus gamma X equals zero, this is gamma, this is the solution will be uh, real, but they are real and the uh, difference between them are in sign. And uh, the root are just key 2 so plus minus key 2 So the solution you are is I have a prime a to the power key 2r plus p prime a to the power minus key 2r. To decide that I have four, four constant. I mean, how can I decide this four constant? By using boundary condition as usual. Here in the first in the fast way, I just can say, okay, I have this equation. This equation uh, uh, should be equal. U R should be equal to the zero in, at the origin when R equal zero, and then this will vanish the the second term uh, B cosine K one R because cosine K one R is not equal, is equal one uh, uh, when R equal zero. So firstly, the constant P should be equal zero to make the, the, the solution vanish at the origin. And uh, uh, the same way for the second case, when r equal to infinity, I, I have this term should be vanish. And when I have e to the power k to r, this term will blow up at infinity, will go to infinity at infinity. So the, the associated constant a prime must be zero in order to make the, the, the function vanish at infinity. So I have now, I found two, two constant, a prime equal zero and b equal zero. So now I have two constant, uh, just by considering the boundary condition when u r, when r equals zero and r equals to infinity, that means I have b equals zero and a prime equal zero. So I can rewrite the equation u r just by writing a sine k one r. Uh, and uh, how to, how to find the, the constant k1? I mean, also I make the constant equal zero at the boundary, at the boundary when I mean r equal a, and then this will give you discrete value a k1 a equal n pi. So k1 is n pi over a. I just and, and just by comparison with previously, I have n square p square over a square equal to m a over h bar square e plus v zero. Then I just find E easily, E equal to N square P square H bar square over 2 M A square minus V zero. So wave function is, is condition continuous. Uh, and uh, now I found, I found the, the discrete value of energy uh, by, by, by that. And now I have also other, other constant with, uh, uh, which is A and B prime. A and B prime, I have two constant. How can I find them? I found them by continuous, that continuous nature of the wave function. The wave function should be continuous and its first, the first derivative also should be continuous. So by con uh, writing the continuous of the, of the wave function, A sine K1R equal B prime E to the power K2A, uh, this is the first equation. And by considering the, the, uh, the continuous of the first derivative, a k1 cosine k1 r equal minus k2 p prime to the power uh, multiplied by e to the power k minus k2 a. This is the second equation. I have now two equations with two uh, unknown, a and b prime. So solving them is will give you the value of the constant. 
by dividing the the second derivative uh, the second equation uh, over the first equation i can uh, have q1 cotangent q1a equal minus q2 so now uh, i have q1a if i suppose that q1a is equal uh, uh so this is uh, but uh, but this is equal to k2 but k2 could be written as a as as a function of k1 because if i just uh, look at the the expression of k1 and k2 i can easily find that i can write rewrite uh, one of them in term of the other plus some constant and so k1 square equal to 2m v0 over h bar square minus k2 square i have this equation here and now i just multiply the both side of the equation uh, star by a to uh, a square a1 square or a square then i have uh, and put k1 a is equal to y then i will i will get y square cotangent squared y of y equal to to to, uh, to some constant minus y squared solution of such a problem are graphically that means i write uh, i can rewrite it uh, the equation as cotangent y equal to square root of uh, c square over y square minus a and i solve this uh, uh, equation graphically that means i uh, draw the cotangent and i draw the second function the second the function in, in the second uh, side of the equation and i found where is the, there is intersection every intersection is a solution so the cotangent y is very easy because uh, it's periodic and with period pi and the value of it at zero is equal to plus infinity and the value of it at minus uh, at, uh, at pi or, or is minus infinity and it uh, 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 it's zero is uh, uh, cross the zero when the at pi over two so and then i draw the second the function in the second side of the equation and i see that there is always there is intersection between the two function uh, the first in, in 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 the cotangent and in red and blue and in red the second uh, function which is uh, in in red uh, and there is always intersection between them uh, and uh, at each interval between pi over 2 to the uh, uh, 3 pi over 2 so there is always solution and the number of solutions there is n solution of it and this solution are approximately and could be uh, precise uh, using some uh, software Exactly.